Hey everyone, Dan here from Jazzy Productions and welcome back to episode 3 of Race to Chiliad. And today we are using a Bentley, I don't know what it's called in this game. And once again we are going to the... We are going to the top of there. Um, without hopefully dying. That's basically the aim of this series. We've got another coloured, different coloured car. We've got a yellow one, which is quite nice. And obviously when we get to the top, we have a little bit of fun. And then we do something on the way down. I might drive this vehicle off, see if it survives. I've done, usually with this, I do absolutely nothing to the vehicles. This time I sort of, what did I do? I added, I added a turbo, so it has a little bit more acceleration. So hopefully that may help a little bit. Because obviously you saw in the last episode with the coil. Yeah, we couldn't really get ourselves out. But I was I had to familiarise myself with the route a little bit. But I think I can remember roughly where I'm supposed to be going. If you didn't know already, um, Mount Chiliad is the highest mountain in the game. But so far, the Bentley's faring pretty well. I've actually lost the path. The path's here. Okay. Good. We found the path. I had to um go and get a little bit of uh, repairing done. We're going up the wrong mount. We're going up the wrong path. I can't remember where we're supposed to be going. We need to, we need to be careful. Oh my god, we got stuck already. I was going to try and fit it with some off-road tyres, but it didn't really work. I sort of fit it with some SUV ones. So hopefully, to get more grip, but it doesn't really seem to work. I suppose like the off-roaders have more grip, even if they do lack the acceleration. Um, I actually quite like this car, I've never driven it before. But I like it. But, it's 185,000. Not really a lot, considering I have um, 16.3 million. But, other than that, yeah, although I can tell... Even with a turbo, which does increase the acceleration, I can slightly hear it struggling. Just, just a little bit. You know, just a little bit. The rear's sliding out a little bit. Hopefully it will make it. Oh my god, I'm actually drifting up Mount Chiliad. But yeah, it really doesn't... It really is struggling for rear grip. And it's also struggling to keep its, win to keep its windows in. Intact. Oh my god, those rear tyres are spinning. Ooh, it's becoming dark. That's not good. I didn't actually plan this out. I forgot that it didn't go dark in this game. That's the wrong way, because I usually see sleep through it. This isn't good if it goes dark before I get to Chiliad. Oh dear. Please. I hope you guys enjoy this series. No, we've done it. Oh, God. This is... Okay, we've driven up a rock. This has gone quite badly. We are now doorless. If we can try and save this, though, that'll be very good. Be very good if we can save this. Where's the path? I swear the path is there. I'm just literally trying to drive sideways. And it's really not working. Okay. As I said, this car doesn't have grip. If we can try and find the path again, then I will be happy. I found the path. Good. Now it's just a question of getting to the path. That's our next obstacle we must overcome. Without driving all the way down again. I do apologise if my voice is deep, but it just naturally is dropping. So, yeah. This is not a path. What the hell is this? There's the path, there's the path, there's the path. So we've driven pretty much all the way back down. Instead of driving up. It's good though, we're back down here so we can have another go. We will have another go at trying to climb Chiliad. I 
think it this way. Oh my god. See, as I say, I am not the best driver. We're going to try and take it a little bit easier this time. If there's any series you want me to play on GTA 5 or anything or any other games you want me to play, leave it in the comments below and I will try and do them. I think this car has an issue. Yes, that's the issue. This front wheel is just locked. We're going to try and go up the best we can, but I think I've destroyed the front wheel. Come on, car. Come on, car. You can do this. Yeah, I have destroyed the front wheel, and it's going dark, so that's two factors now I've got to worry about. That's pretty much what happened last time. I had the exact same issue with the coil. It's just the power. I sort of put a little bit too much power on. And it sort of just drove all the way down the mountain. There we go. A little bit cutting of there. I don't think I was actually particularly close either. I can remember where we got to. Oh god. Please, Bentley. Please make it. I do not want to fail twice in a row. Oh, that's some random thing making a noise. I really want. I hope they. I hope there's going to be people. I don't really care about this vehicle anymore. But it didn't cost a lot anyway. Yeah, we just got past this bit. I think wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we just got past this, but I can actually see our destination inside. It was there. That's where we lost it. I think. Was it there? Was it there we lost it? It might be there we lost it. But then there's a vertical cliff. Okay. We've gone past where we're supposed to go. It hasn't taken us that long, really, to get back up here. Despite having a broken car. Oh, you're struggling now. Oh, yes, you're struggling now. Don't worry, there's some barrier. You are nearly there, car. Don't, please don't fail now. I was going to try driving up Chile up the other way, but I think it's pretty much the same sort of difficulty. And I'm familiar with this way anyway. This bit was where we lost it with the coil. So we must be very, very careful. I think we lost it with the Granger here as well, but we managed to get it back up because obviously it's a... It's a... Um, what's it called? It's an off-road car. Yeah, we st struggle at the, at the uh, steeper bits, obviously, because of this broken wheel. Uh, I was going to use this in... The GTA fun, GTA 5 fun, but not really any point. This is why I don't want to use my adder. I might do, but I don't really want to because I don't really want to. Because that cost me a lot of money. Uh, right, we are. Oh my god, we've actually made it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, car. Right. Next obstacle, clear the steps, something that the Granger, I believe, couldn't do. Oh my god, he's actually done it. We've actually made it, guys, to the top of Mount Chiliad. Successfully. There's some dirt bikes here which we can drive down. No people. Oh, I suppose it's dark now, so there won't be any people here. Oh, that's, that's quite a sad moment. No, you know what? We won't use the bike for once. We will actually use this car. We will give it a perfect send-off. It's got us here. It can now get us back down again. Ooh, please don't be stupid. Be careful, car. Right, ready? Three. Is that water? God, it is as well. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, we are going back down the mound. We'll be going down the mountain when he comes. Ow! This vehicle has no relevance, there's no importance to me anymore. It's an absolutely useless vehicle. If it still works down the end, I'll be very amazed. 
I highly doubt it. Yeah, I definitely highly doubt it. It might do. If I'm lucky not to blow up by the end. Flips for days. Can you get that? Oh, there's a little bit there. Oh my god. god. I think this is the same thing as the coil. You can't control it. I think we've destroyed the back enough. What's that hay for? Oh, here we go. Almost here. Oh, no, we're not. We are almost here. Um, I've sort of changed my timetable a little bit. So I do vlogs four times a week now. Doesn't matter, though, because we have cleared it. We are all the way down to... Part We've all done Mount Chilliard. We're just going to keep going. Because why not? Yeah, the same things happened with this car than what happened with the coil. So... This is awfully hard to drive. So if I can try and get it to the road, then that is basically a success, because that means we've effectively made it up and down. Something we didn't do with the Granger, we just took it up, because it would be, I reckon, pretty strong to try and take down. But, obviously, expensive fast cars, obviously never ever take them up a big mountain. Because you know what's going to happen to them. You will crash them. And you will either die. Or have to get a new car. I do not like what's happened to this vehicle at all. It doesn't even drive straight anymore. But anyway. We have done this challenge guys. So that's two from three we've done now. I'd like to say. If you enjoyed it. Leave it a like. And. Subscribe to me. Plus twelve. Happy April 12th HD. We've even made it to the beach. Yeah, until next time, guys, it's goodbye for me, so goodbye for now.